lot of you guys had questions on these problems. Uh, be careful as well because when the test happens, kind of like we did on the practice test, you can't ask me how to do this stuff. Or you can't ask me what factor means. Factoring, if you don't know what it means by the time the test happens, it just means you don't know what it means. Okay? So that's why you can use your homework on those tests. Make sure you refer back to those, all right? All right, on this one, we need to look at factors of 10, which would just be 2 and 5, both of which are prime. So 10 is 2 times 5. <coughs> And then we've got this 5 a while, which would just be 5 times a while. So what are the common factors of these? 5. So this is our greatest common factor. Hopefully you guys remember this from class. So we know it's going to be 5, and in, in the parentheses would have the minus there from the original part. And so it used to be 10 minus a 5 a while. But from the 10, what's left over? There's two. From the five of why, what's left over? Why. The why. So this is our final factored <laughs> answer. If you wanted to, you could check this problem, by the way. If you redistributed the five, you'd get 10 minus five why, which is what we started with anyways. <laughs>